Whether you have a Microsoft Teams account or not, Microsoft Whiteboard is an easy to use tool that can be used by every teacher to make their lessons more interactive. Let's start with the basics to get you started. To download it, open the Microsoft Store, search Whiteboard, and select Install. We're going to start with the basics of writing and annotations, but at the end of the video I will show you how to share the whiteboard with your students without having to download the app. To start typing, select text and choose where in the whiteboard you would like to write. You can make your text size bigger or smaller by dragging the corners. You can also make the line longer by dragging the size of the box. To start typing again, select the text box and then click on the pencil icon. The default color is black, but there are 15 different colors to select from. If you would like to copy what you've written, select Copy. Right-click on the whiteboard to paste it where you want. To remove it, select the rubbish bin icon. Finally, if you've created something that you don't want your students to move or change, click on the three lines and select Lock. To unlock it, right-click on the text box and select the Unlock icon. MS Whiteboard comes with a range of annotation tools to make your text stand out. You have three different pens that you can choose from. This allows you to pre-select your favorite colors or thickness size to match your teaching style. I'm an English teacher, so I usually use one of my pens to create timelines or continuums. To do this, select pen and choose from single or double arrow tip. Click Shift before drawing the line so that your line is straight like the one that you see on the board. Next is the Highlighter tool. You can change the thickness level and color just like we did with the Pen tool. To erase your annotations, select the Eraser tool. You can either erase what is inside the eraser box if you want to erase a small area, or you can erase the whole annotation by clicking on the Erase tool again and selecting Erase Entire Stroke. Finally, if you would like to edit more than one annotation quickly, select the Lasso tool. Create a shape around the annotations that you want to edit and then delete them, for example. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I will show you how to invite your students. To do this, go to the top right corner of the whiteboard and select the Share icon. Activate and copy the share link and then share it with your students. When they click on the link, this is what they see. They can download the app if they want, but can still use the app by selecting View it on the web. Microsoft Whiteboard is an interesting one, because when I compare it to the competition, it feels like it has more features than the rest of the Whiteboard tools. And the other good thing about it is that you can use it with any other virtual classroom that you want, so that you have a space where you can interact with your students. Now, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any thoughts about it, if you feel like it helped you make your lessons more interactive, please share your thoughts. And also if you have any other questions. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.